Every hoodlum in Wichita, Kansas, wanted to get rid of Marshal Wyatt Earp. Men were hired to shoot him, and they failed. Earp had been out of town, and a crooked gambler by the name of Keno McGee had taken advantage of his absence to achieve some very profitable results. When the cat's away, mice will play. Newspaper guys got no business taking pictures of my place. What are you hiding, Keno? What's the sense of you and me arguing? I got a license from the marshal's office to open. Sure, while well, Marshal Earp is out of town. You couldn't have gotten it when he was here. Pete Dahlgren is deputy while Earp's away. Now take your complaints to him. Don't bother me. Go ahead, take it. Hey, you, none of that! Wait, you have a public license. I want a picture of what a crooked gambling place looks like. Go ahead and take it. Give me that plate! Come on, Get take that it camera busted! Hold it! Hold it, Mike! Hold it! Hold it! That's Marshal Earp! Go on inside! Arrest your men, break it up! Go on, move! Well, it took you so long. You said you'd be gone only 10 or 12 days. I'll tell you about that later. Now, what's going on here? I want Keno's place closed. I want you to take back his license. Oh, no, Mr. Murdoch. We just kind of lost our tempers, that's all. Your name's Keno? Keno McGee. And Pete Dahlgren, your deputy, gave me permission to open this place. But Murdoch here... Shut up! Things have been happening in your office while you were away. You better look into them and look into them fast or I'll have a story to write you might not like. See you later. Thanks. That camera cost me $300. There's no paid for yet. You say my chief deputy gave you permission to open? Pete Dahlgren, while you were down in Oklahoma Territory. Murdoch doesn't like me. It's a case of personal prejudice. If you don't believe it, just ask Pete. I will. Now, Mr. McGee, you got a good corner here. The saloon has always made money. You just keep your nose clean. Oh, hello, Marshal. We missed you around here. Yeah, I missed you, too. What do you got? Just got a shipment of new cards. Got to change them every now and then. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it's hard to keep 52 of them in the same deck. It's what causes a lot of trouble in Wichita. Which brings you to your point. I mean, you want something. You didn't just come in a chin with me. All right. You know all the uh, saloon keepers and gamblers in Wichita. What do you know about Keno McGee? Sometimes I think you don't like me. Why do you say that? Because every time you ask me a question, it's one I could get shot for answering. Well, you'll be waving goodbye to a lot of people around here, so don't let it worry you. Now, we, uh, we're talking about Keno. Must have been a one-sided conversation. But if you have to know, I ran across him in Dodge a few years ago, before I ever had a place of my own. As a matter of fact, he asked me to work for him as a dealer. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd be a novelty. <laughs> Go on. They were fixing to run him out of Dodge at that time. Man's got to be a pretty bad boy to be run out of Dodge. Crooked gambling? Oh, lots of reasons. Blackmail, payoffs. He don't stop anywhere. Sounds like a nice, pleasant fellow. That's why I wish you wouldn't ask me those kind of questions. Because people like Keno don't stop anywhere. Well, don't worry, Miss Kate. Don't worry. I didn't know the right thing to do about Keno. He was off to Oklahoma Territory helping your Indian friends. I just had to use my own best judgment, Wyatt. Didn't Mr. Murdoch tell you that Keno's application for a license had been turned down once before? Yes, he did. But they've been enemies for years. The way I got it, Keno tried to buy the mortgage on the Eagle, put Murdoch out of business. But that's ancient history, Wyatt. Uh, how long has he been operating? 
Hoping to, we could go Thursday, about 10 days. Any trouble so far? No, sir. Sam Renfro knows the man better than I do, but both Sam and I agreed that the man was entitled to a license. No, I'm not asking you to explain anything, Pete. It's just that this man's got a pretty bad reputation. Well, if I did wrong, I'll get in the horse and start riding. Well, I don't think you did wrong. I think you did what you thought was right. You and the rest of the deputies have backed me to the limit so far, and I, well, I feel the same way about all of you. So let you and I keep our eye on Keno. Thanks, Wyatt. Well, howdy, Sam. Oh, Pete, if you see Mr. Murdoch out there around, will you send him on over? Murdoch's not here yet, huh? No, not yet. Hey, uh, you must have had quite a showdown with that daggett gang. Well, I sure could have used you, you and that great left-handed shooting of yours. Captain Benteen says you saved them two engines from the happy hunting ground. You turned up a cache of 400 Winchesters. Daggett gang aimed to sell the sitting bull for whatever he's up to in Montana. What's been happening around Wichita? No grief. Just that row Pete must have told you about. You think it was a mistake to give Keno the license? No, not exactly. I'd close the fellow, Wyatt. Why take the risk? Murdoch's all riled up. He'll start a big hoorah. Pete said you were in favor of the license. I was. I said to him what I say to you. Kino's a real slimy character. But they haven't yet made that a reason why a man can't get a license. I'll tell you what I'd do, Wyatt. Don't let me stop you, Sam. Lucky you did, sir. Wyatt's my boss. I got no business telling him what to do. Excuse me. That man a good officer? It's the best hand with a gun I got. He's so brave, he scares me. <laughs> oh, now, Wyatt. Well, what's the news in Wichita? A story I, I hope I won't have to print. Hmm? The city refuses to take any action on Keno McGee. Hmm? Look, Mr. Murdoch, if I uh, tried to close Keno's place without any evidence, I'd be putting my chief deputy under suspicion. And if I print that story, you and your whole staff will be under suspicion. Go ahead and print it. Wyatt, are you sure of your deputies? What do you mean? Do you trust them? Like I trust myself. Well, I handpicked each one of those men. And I walk into trouble like, well, like a bunch of drunken cowhands boasting that they're gonna cut me down. All I gotta do is give the word that I want two deputies to back me and they'll be there. I don't even have to look around to see whether it's Sam, Pete, Ted, or Joe. I know they'll be there. Oh, no, Wyatt. We're talking about different things. Look, you're probably right about Keno McGee, but I'm not going to change Pete's decision unless Keno gets out of line. Excuse me, Wyatt. Rowdy Kate wants to see you right away. But the way I got it was mighty important. Thanks. It's him, Miss Kate. It's the marshal. Well, send him on up. You can come up, Mr. Earp. And close that door and don't try to listen. Oh, no, Miss Kate. Hello, Wyatt. I don't know why I let you get me all mixed up in your affairs. Maybe it's because you kissed me that day. Well, look, let's not go into that again. Besides... I know. It was really me who kissed you. <laughs> well, it's all been very pleasant. Now, why did you send for me? You've done me several good turns, Wyatt, and I'm fond of you. You asked me a lot about Keno McGee. So now I can really tell you something. What? Have you heard that Keno McGee owns one of your deputies? Well, I hate to think that, Miss Kate. Well, could be barroom talk, but I have a hunch it's true. Who? Well, come on, tell me. Which one of my deputies do you think Keno's bought? Well, the way I heard it, it's Pete Dahlgren. That's just a hunch based on spite talk. I don't think Pete would take a bribe. Well, he let McGee open. He knew that Murdoch hates Keno. Well, Pete explained all of that to me, Miss Kate. But I thank you for your interest. Wyatt, listen to me. It's only a gal's guess, but this gal has been around. If Keno did buy Pete, then he can work some kind of a dirty frame on you, right? Open your eyes, Wyatt. Protect yourself. Mildred? 
Yes, Miss Kate, excuse me. Now what is it? Mr. Er, Mr. Murdoch sent word he's waiting at your office. Thank you. And don't worry. I'll be careful. Well, glory, hallelujah. A man's taken my advice. <laughs> I had to send for you, Wyatt. What's the matter? Anonymous letter was waiting for me at my office. Read it. Bribe money in Wyatt Ebb's desk. Letting Kino McGee stay open. You think I had something to do with this? Oh, don't be an idiot. It's like I've been trying to tell you. One of your deputies is framing you. $300 worth. All right. Let's call in all of your deputies and face them with it. Uh, first man to face with it is Kino. That's exactly what he wants. Since you found the money in the desk, you'd have a hard time explaining yourself. Our only chance to find the man who planted that money is to make Kino think his frame worked. It's too risky, Wyatt. You lose your star. That would make Pete Dahlgren acting marshal. He's the one who helped frame you. I don't believe that. He did do it, I'll get him. But how can I accuse him or any of the other deputies? Well, what proof do I have? Well, there's no proof. All right. You take this money over to Kino and accuse him of bribing me. Have him hold before Judge Jewel. That's right. So he takes away your star and your guns. Well, that's exactly what Kino wants, so let's play along with him. You intend to move around this town without your guns? That's the law of Wichita. Yes. Maybe you'll be stuck with it. And this is the money that Mr. McGee admits sending to Marshal Earp. I found the money in the Marshal's desk. But it ain't a bribe or anything like that, Your Honor. It's a free will contribution to the Peace Officers Christmas Fund. Did uh, Marshal Earp solicit this contribution? Well, no, sir, he didn't. You just sort of hinted if I wanted to stay in business around here, I'd better pay up. This is an astounding charge, Marshal Earp. Have you anything to say? Nothing, Your Honor. You realize this leaves the court no choice but to suspend you? Yes, sir. The court would like to state, for the benefit of the press, that it reserves judgment on Marshal Earp's guilt or innocence. Mr. Earp, you will be suspended for one week. If at the end of that period, you have not offered a satisfactory explanation of the matter, you will be removed from office permanently. Courts adjourn. <laughs> and all I'm saying is, one of us framed Wyatt. I'm not gonna take this. Don't look at me. I had nothing to do with it. You let Keno McGee open up. You felt the same way I did about it. We both felt he at least had a right to open. I want to find out who sent that money. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Pete? You're acting marshal now. I think we should all quit. All right. I'm willing. So am I. No. Not all of you. Just one of you should quit. <laughs> Why? He 
casino thrown his bar wide open to celebrate. Free grub and drinks. I'll pay him a visit. No, no, I'll do that. Put those on, you might need them. I can't. The judge suspended me. Now, do you want to be legal or do you want to be dead? Keep those handy. I'll have plenty of time to put them on after I find out who helped Keno in the deal. I think I can find out. Oh? Now, you go to the hotel. Stay off the streets. Promise? All right. Now, wait here a second until I've got a good start for Keno's place. You be careful. You're the one who better be careful. Come in, come in. It's Rowdy Kate, boss. She wants to see you. Well, bring her in. Come in, Miss Kate. Miss Kate, my darling, my competitor, but still my friend, I hope. Sure, Kino. Pull that off of me since you're feeling like a gent tonight. Well, it'd be a privilege. <laughs> there you are, Kate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, Wyatt Earp got fired. Where's the champagne? Champagne, the best in the house. Somebody told me that uh, you and Earp used to be friends. <laughs> used to be for about a week. What's the next move, boss? No move. Why do you call me boss? I didn't come here to play games. I want to stay in business. When do you really open up the town? Wild and woolly Wichita. Like it used to be. Not yet. Maybe soon. Dahlgren's your man, isn't he? I'm not talking yet. <laughs> I don't want to go swimming in this. <laughs> I'd fill a bathtub for you, sweetheart. You just say the word. <laughs> Pete Dahlgren. Somebody shot him. It's too bad. You better drink your champagne, Kate. Oh, listen, Keno. I came here to talk business. Dahlgren was your man, wasn't he? You want to know? The whole town wants to know. We'll tell you when the time comes. But no freeze out. You got no worries. Take it easy. You're one of us. There'll be a man around to collect. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Drink up, Kate. <laughs> How is he, Doc? Pete was shot in the back by a left-handed man. When will Dogman be able to tell us who shot him? Don't be an idiot. Pete never knew what hit him. The fella snuck up behind him. Questioning Pete won't do any good. Pete's dead. I'm sorry, Wyatt. It's kind of rough one. Man has to die to clear himself. You tell Mayor Hope that I went Sam Renfro, named as acting marshal. Yeah. Try to tell him. Who is it? Wyatt. Sit down. No. You hear about Pete? I was with Keno when it happened. Who do you think killed him? Oh, I wish I knew. If they find out I'm mixed up in all of this, they'll come gunning for me. Wyatt, I'm scared. What did Keno say when Pete was killed? Just that it was too bad. Will you put on your guns? Yeah. Stay here? I'll try and keep you from harm, you know that. Wyatt, it was Sam Renfro. What makes you say that? I can add two and two. Keno wouldn't deal until Pete was killed. Now he says a man will be around to collect from me every week. I'm going to get my guns. I'll be right back. You stay close to Mildred. Thanks, Wyatt. I'll send her right up. 
Hey, Ted, you and Joe, come in here and help me clean up this mess of paper. Ted, you hear me? Sam, Kino said someone talked. He wouldn't say who, but words around Herb's gone for his guns. Tell Kino I'll be right down. Yes, sir. Who is it? Sam Renfro. Open up. Give it to me straight. Who knows about me? Wait a minute, Sam. Who are you pushing around? I said give it to me straight. Who'd you talk to? Well, only Kate, but she agreed to pay. She's good people. Good people. She's one of Wyatt's best friends, you fool. If that man's coming to shoot us, why don't we run out of here? It's only been a few minutes. Why? It'll come. Yes, but what if Mr. Earp don't get here first? What then? That's him. It ain't Mr. Earp. Don't you go to that door, please. Wyatt? Yes? Sam just killed Keno McGee. I think he's on his way over here. Oh, good Lord. You clear out, Mildred. He's not after you. No, sir. I stay with Miss Kate. All right. Then you get over against that wall. Miss Kate, when he comes, you open the door, then you flatten yourself against that wall. All right, remember, keep back against the wall. Yes, sir. Hello, Sam. You go for that gun, I'll break both your arms. That means I left one first. Just like you shot Pete in the back. You're not that good. Are you willing to state that you dictated this confession and signed it of your own free will? You're charged with the murder of Keno McGee, also the murder of Chief Deputy Dalton on the streets of Wichita. You will be remanded to jail and held there for trial. Take him away. Judge, I won't be safe in jail. As soon as this courtroom is cleared, it's just a matter of time until some mob breaks in here to get me. I won't be safe, Judge. You'll be safe, Your Honor. No lynch mob's gonna get to him. The other deputies and I will see to that. If I had wanted to take his life, I'd have taken it when he tried to murder Miss Kate. He's worried about a mob. Well, I wonder if he's also worried about the fact that he blackened the good name of a fellow worker and then murdered him. I wonder if he's worried about the fact that Miss Kate's still alive and that he was stopped before he could kill me. No, Mr. Renfro. There are other things more important than mobs. But don't you worry. I'm not going to let a lynch mob get you. You can rest assured of that. No. I want you to stand before this court and be legally tried and sentenced to hang. I've never asked that penalty before. But in the case of Sam Renfro, I believe it to be just and fair. I thank your honor for hearing me out. Well, he cleaned up the country, the old wild west country. 
he made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp, brave, courageous, and bold. 